Uh, I got my first jail letter in the mail. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Eight pages, double-sided, college rule, single-spaced, chock full of I love Jesus. Prison letter. <laughs> That's where my brother's been. <laughs> oh, God. He stopped returning my calls. I thought he was mad because I called him a fuck-up that one time. <laughs> Turns out I was right. <laughs> um, yeah, my brother got arrested for the third time. Third arrest for drinking and driving. Obviously, he has a very serious problem with multitasking. <laughs> we've tried talking to him. We've had interventions. It's like, one thing at a time, Lewis. Babysitting and hookers don't go together. No, I don't care if you each get a nipple. It's not right. I haven't written him back yet because I don't know what to say. What do you say to a prisoner? What do you ask him about? How do you like your neighbors? <laughs> Seen anybody new? I don't know. And then, you know, you, you talk about yourself. Any, any little thing you talk about, it's like bragging. You know, like, you, your prisoner doesn't want to hear about your life. He doesn't want to hear about the... Uh, the movie you went to, or the great fajitas you had, it's bragging. He doesn't want to hear about the consensual sex you had with the person of your choice. It comes off of matches. I have another brother. <laughs> Gets better. His name's Gavin. Uh, his friends call him Buddy. I call him Cuckoo. <laughs> um, I haven't talked to him in a couple years. Ever since he uh, broke into my apartment to borrow my television. <laughs> um, Gavin, picking a lock, strapping a flat screen to your back, and then later trying to sell it back to me for beer money, isn't so much borrowing as it is a restraining order. So, um, he did recently try to reconnect with me. He added me on Facebook. <laughs> Thanks, Facebook. I owe ya. <laughs> Um, so I went to his page, you know, see what he's been up to. Uh, of course his profile picture is topless, which it's fine because he's a guy, but that's just so him. You know, he's in some sort of weird Tai Chi pose, like a bad Steven Seagal film. Ultimate douche. That's gross. <laughs> then I went to his info page, and under job, he wrote, International Ghost Warrior. It's good to see he's traveling abroad. Is there a ghost war going on? I have not heard about this on CNN. Are there casualties? Because that seems redundant. Seems redundant. Needless to say, I did not add him as a friend. Because I know if I did, then all his friends would want to be my friend. And I'd have a bunch of demon snipers and zombie insurgents posting shit on my wall. I'd get an invite to some dark enforcer's barbecue. No, I will not attend. Please remove from my events. I don't think you should be friends with your family on Facebook. I work heels for you tonight. <laughs> Trying to be a lady. <laughs> Usually I do this type of work in Chuck Taylors. Um, but I'm trying to be more of a girl, I'm a bit of a tomboy. I um in that quest I started waxing my vagina. <laughs> it's Wednesday, it's midnight, we're friends. Who cares? Um <laughs> Yeah, it's fresh, it's nice. Um that's what ladies do. It's required. The magazine say, uh, I was going to this place called Cocktail Wax on La Cienega. <laughs> Their gimmick is they feed you alcohol while a hot 20-year-old named Madison, you know, rips the hair out of here. Yeah. And it was fun at first, because, you know, she was cute. It felt like we were in college just experimenting. <laughs> but Madison's work started to get sloppy. She was missing spots, and she was rolling in late to her appointments. 
She'd say things like, oh my god, I partied so hard last night, I think I'm still drunk. Or she'd brag about the amazing weed that her boyfriend hooked her up with. And I realize when it comes to uh, my private parts ambassador, I need someone who's, uh, what's the word? Sober. <laughs> need someone sober. So, uh, my friend Mandy who's here. <laughs> she referred me to this Romanian woman named Nicoletta who works out of her house. Of course she does. <laughs> Where else would she work? <laughs> Yeah. And so you go to her house, it's amazing. You walk in. Beverly Hills adjacent, by the way. And uh, there's like dried fruit, nuts, gold framed mirrors, Regis and Kathy Lee on the big screen, waxy bed, paper towels. Okay, everything off. Uh, we done. Let's go. Yes, okay. Oh. oh, okay, you're not going to turn around? Oh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> I can, no modest detail or anything. You're just going to, that's fine, I'll just uh, put my pants next to your shih tzu. It's <laughs> fine. Um, I think she kind of gets flirty with me, though, while she's waxing me. It's really awkward when uh, she's all up in my labia, and she's like, um... <laughs> She's like, I like your body. I like your body. Girl, before you're too skinny. But I like your body. I'm not gay. I mean, if I were, but I mean, I'm probably not. I'm just saying. I mean, I do like girl or girl porn, which is weird. But I'm just saying, if the opportunity arose, I might take a minute to pull it over. And um, if it turned out I was, I would like your body. Thank you. Ow.